Stocks are trying to end the four-day losing streak this morning, but the Russell is certainly not helping, being down seven-tenths of a percent as I speak to you right now. The other three are positive, but kind of weakening, with the NASDAQ only up about two-tenths of a percent, the S&P 500 up about a third of a percent, and the Dow up about seven-tenths of one percent. As we start the day, we've got crude oil down about one and a quarter percent. Natural gas is actually up close to five percent. Gold and silver are lower, down a third of a percent and two thirds of a percent on silver. Copper down about one half of one percent. Yields are higher right now with the two year up four basis points and the five, the 10 and the 30 year all up three basis points. Not much of a move. Japan's coincident index came in higher than expected. And interestingly, the rate on the 30 year German, German boomed has hit its highest level since 2014. That yield sits at about 2.68% right now. We've got some Fed speak already this morning and Rafael Bostic from the Atlanta Fed didn't say much. Still, New York Fed President John Williams and Fed Governor Michelle Bowman were both talking about rates being higher for longer, with Bowman talking about rates needing to go higher from where they are to defeat stubborn inflation. Tomorrow, we get words from Philly Fed President Patrick Harker and Richmond Fed President Thomas Barkin, so we'll see if we get any headlines from that. The dollar has started the week higher, even though we had that stronger German yield that I mentioned a second ago. As I speak to you right now, the euro is down between a tenth and two tenths of a percent against the US dollar. The yen is down about a quarter of a percent and the Swiss franc, the Swiss franc is down about a third of a percent. Sterling, Canadian and New Zealand dollars are slightly above the flat line while the Aussie dollar is slightly below it. In aggregate, the dollar is higher. Looking ahead, earnings are slowing to a trickle. Today, after the market close, we get 65 companies with market caps over 500 million, headlined by Palantir, Skyworks, and the Lucid Group. Tomorrow, before the market opens, we get another 71 companies with market caps of over $500 million, including Eli Lilly, UPS, Duke Energy, and Fox. Regarding data, We'll get UK retail sales later this afternoon, and tonight we get China's balance of trade figures. Tomorrow morning, we get inflation data from Germany and the US balance of trade figures. And then tomorrow night, we'll get Chinese inflation data.